Greetings students and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to be looking at Unit 9 Lesson 5, Data with Chapter Wrap Up. Alright, so an assessment coming soon, so we want to make sure that we understand how to do all these things. Now I have pulled these from the homework, uh, so there's a, a number of problems to do tonight for your independent work, and so um, I pulled some from there for us to look at. And so I'd recommend that you follow along, uh, jot down the answers to these, and that way when you see these on your independent work, um, you don't have to do them again because we're going to do them right now together. All right? So we have uh, four different problems here. Um, so let me go ahead and divide these apart. And let's look at this first one. Okay? It says the picture graph shows the, co the color of 63 cars in a parking lot. How many cars does each... Um, each thing represent, okay, each little car represent, right? So what it's telling us is that all of these represent 63, okay, as a total. So there's 63 cars all together, right? So we need to figure out how many there are. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So there's 63 cars all together. They're using nine cars to represent it. What that means they're going to do here is divide by 9. 63 divided by 9 is 7. Okay, and that means that each car is equal to 7 cars in, in real life that they're using here. Okay, so each car represents 7. All right, next, the bar graph shows the number of each item in a teacher's stationary box. Okay, so here's pencils, ruler, pen, a sharpener, and eraser. Which of the following statement is true from the data shown in the bar graph? Okay, there is only one pencil, right? So we can see here that if we go across, there are two, all right? So that is not correct, okay? There are more pencils than any other item. Well, you can see here, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, pencils. You can see here how tall pencils are. There are 10 pencils. And there are more of those than any other items, okay? So that is true. There are two more sharpeners than erasers, okay? So here, we come up, we see that there are five sharpener, but there's four erasers. Well, that means there's, there's only one more, not two more, so that's not true. There are 20 items in the box altogether. So here, we want to add them up. So here, we see there's 10 pencils. Here we see there's three rulers. Here we see there's two pins. Here we see there's five sharpeners. And here we see there's four erasers. Okay, three plus two is five. Five plus two is 10. 10 plus four is 14. One plus one is two. So there's 24 items, not 20. So the only one that was true was that there are more pencils than any other items in the box, okay? All right, let's look at the next one. A group of students were asked to choose their favorite sport. Lydia drew a bar graph to show the data. She forgot to include the number of students for each sport, all right? So here, um, and it's kind of difficult to see, but there's these lines here, right? Here's a line, here's a line. So there's this line going across just like this, okay? So she forgot to put how much each of these were worth on this side, all right? So what we have to figure out is how much is worth, okay? So there are 24 of them who chose ba uh, baseball. How many more students chose soccer than, than hockey, okay? So baseball has 24. And what we see here is there is one, two, three, four, five, six that go up like this, all right? So how much would each one have to be in order to make that equal 24? So if we count it by ones, well, we know it's not gonna work. If we count it by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, that doesn't work, okay? Uh, we could try three, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Nope, that doesn't work. We've got to get to 24. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Oh, so each one is equal to 4. So I can put that in now. So I can make this 4 
8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Okay, so now I know how much each line equals because I was able to figure it out from baseball. So how many more students chose soccer than hockey? Okay, so now I can see soccer goes up to here, which is equal to 28. And hockey goes up to here, which is only 8. And therefore, 8 minus 8 is 0. 2 minus nothing is 2. So 20 students more, 20 more students chose soccer than hockey. All right, and so I was able to figure that out because I knew that 20 students played baseball and therefore I broke it up into all of its parts, or six parts, six times four equals 24. All right, now the last one. So the last one here, they've done a tally chart for me and they want me to turn it into a, um, into a pictograph, okay? And using, I'm gonna use ovals and each oval represents four, okay? So for blue, there are 12. 12 divided by four is three, so I need three ovals. One, two, three. All right, and again, I'm dividing by four because there's four marbles per an oval. Here there is, is five, 10, 15, 20. 20 divided by four is five. All right, next for red, five, 10, 15, 16. So 16 divided by four is Four. And lastly, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. So I'll make these a little bit tighter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, and for this one, you'll actually use information for th from this one in uh, more of your independent work. All right, that is the end of today's video on how to, to look at pictographs, how to look at bar models, um, to, how to use a tally chart, um, and hopefully to, to prepare you for the upcoming assessment. Good luck on your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.